welcome to the second part of the Rock Coder Space Invaders tutorial. In this session, we're going to add the ability to fire missiles at the Space Invaders so that we have a fighting chance against them. Start with, let's look at the Manage Game Sprite. If you look inside there, there's one costume. Press space to play. This should be shown before a game starts. So we'll initialize the game, we'll set the position of this sprite which is 0, 0. We don't need to set the costume because there is only one costume. We do need to show it. So it is now showing a sprite that says press space to play. And so we will go into a control block and Wait until the sensing block key space is pressed. When you've pressed the space bar, we can hide that sprite again and we can play a game. When the game is over, because the space invader has landed, we're going to pause for a moment and then we're going to do the whole thing again. So now when we run the game, it simply says press space to play, or press space. We can move around, we can watch the invader come down. When the invader lands, pause just for a moment. Let's press space to play, second game. So we now have a full game loop in there. We have a begin game, play game, end game. So let's have some firing. It's player. So you can already move left, you can already move right. How about if the spacebar is pressed, then let's broadcast the him to fire a missile. Now let's look into the missile sprite. This has a very simple missile costume. So, first of all, when we receive initialized game, we don't want to see, we want to make sure this sprite is hidden before we start the game. We also want a variable that tells us if we're currently firing or not. So, player firing. It's true or false, so a question mark, it's for this sprite only. So it starts with a small letter. When you start the game, player firing is a false. So you can't see the missile and you're not firing. Now, when you receive the message fire missile because the, the player has pressed the space bar, then the first thing to do is make sure you're not already firing a missile. If there's a missile already flying on the screen, you can't fire another one. So we'll say, check that the player firing is false. And if it is false, then we'll set it to true because we are now going to fire a missile. And we don't want to be able to fire another one while this one's on the screen. The missile wants to start the same position that the player's at, so we'll go to the player's position and we want to make sure it's the correct costume. So we'll switch costume to missile and we want to be able to see the costume. So show. So now we can fire a missile. But it's not going to do much at this point. What we need is an update for it. We have an update for the player, we have an update for the invader. We're going to add one more update. We now receive update of the sprites. The player update is a big one that needs a broadcast of its own. The invader update is a big one, needs a broadcast of its own. Things like the missile, all they're going to do is travel in a straight line up the screen. 
So we'll just cover those together with other sprites. When you're updating other sprites, let's see if this is actually being fired at the time. So if, I'll just copy it from there, duplicate. If the player firing is true, then we want to move the missile. So we'll change Y by 16. And if it reaches the edge of the screen, so if sensing block, if you're touching the edge, then we want to get rid of the missile. The missile is finished, so we're no longer firing the missile. Play firing is false. And we can hide the missile. So now, if we run this code, I can not fire. Let's have a look why not. Because I'm, I'm not actually calling my update with the sprites function. Broadcast update player, broadcast update invaders, and obviously I need to broadcast update other sprites now. So whenever I press space, I can I can only fire one missile on screen at a time. That works nicely, but notice that when I press space to start, it fires the missile. That's not ideal. You can see why it's happening when you when you start the game. It's waiting until you press in the space, and then start in the game with space already pressed, so it fires a missile. So let's wait until it's pressed, and then let's wait until it's no longer pressed. Wait until not pressing space. So now it'll say press space bar to start. Wait until you press it. Wait until you've let go of it and then the game will start. So press space and it doesn't fire but it fires then. And the next thing is for us to actually be able to destroy Space Invader. So let's have a look in the invader code. Update invaders. We're going to add another thing to our update loop which is going to be check collisions. Broadcast check collisions. So now every frame, and this happens 30 times a second, it will update the player, update the invaders, update any other sprites, and then check for any collisions, which may be a missile against a space invader, a bomb against a player. So at the moment, we're just doing the missiles. So an invader. When we're checking collisions, we need to see if, if we're touching a missile. So if we are sensing block touching a missile, then the invader has been blown up basically. So we need to do a few things. We need to say game over because there was only one invader. So set game over to true and we need to hide him because he's being shot and we need to get rid of the missile. If we don't, then what happens is Let's just shoot this invader if I can. The missile stayed on the screen. So what we'll do, if, it, if the invader is touching the missile, we will broadcast to remove the missile. In the missile code, when I receive the 
remove it from the sail. That will simply set the player so he's not firing anymore and hide the missile. So now, I'll play the game. If I shoot the invader, the missile vanishes, the invader vanishes, the game is over. So we now have a way of fighting against the invader. In the next tutorial, we will add explosions to the space invader and make things more exciting. <laughs>